It seems like there's a lot to celebrate during the holiday season. This week, the Jewish community is lighting the menorah. Nine at your sides, Aaron Jenkins was at a Hanukkah celebration tonight to see this lighting. And Aaron, how are people feeling tonight about the holiday? Well, Angie, can everyone I talked to at the lighting was super excited just to be back out to celebrate the holiday. Last year, they had to cancel because of the pandemic, but the congregation Bay Shalom says that that makes this year even more special. The light of the candles reminds me of the light of the beauty of the celebration of all of these beautiful traditions that we've had for thousands of years. The third day of Hanukkah, a time to come together to celebrate and reflect. That's how mother and daughter duo Suzanne and Eloise Clark feel about the lighting of the menorah. Getting together with friends and family and also remembering the past and not only just remembering the past, but being able to link that to our daily lives today. The community celebrating the Festival of Lights at Congregation Beit Shalom, singing Hanukkah songs, <laughs> eating potato latkes, learning lessons of their ancestors, Other cultures also and of course, lighting the menorah. Each night, Families get together, communities get together. We always light the menorah with one light the first night all the way up to eight. Hanukkah is a time to dedicate ourselves to that light. The candles on the menorah uh, are a symbol of the victory that the Maccabees won against the Greek army. Local leaders, including Mayor PJ Connolly, participating in tonight's festivities, lighting one of the three candles. We've got a very diverse community here in Greenville, and we have many uh, religions, and I think it's very important for us to be able to honor Hanukkah as it started this last week. It's great to be able to see people from all religions come out here and be able to support our Jewish brothers and sisters. After a year off because of COVID, Rabbi Harley Kars Wagman was excited to see all the people who came out. It is amazing to get together and, and see people face the face. Not only is Hanukkah a time to remember the past, but also to do acts of kindness, uh, acts of charity, uh, of giving, uh, and also activism, uh, and also just doing nice things for other people. So very similar to some other holiday we have this 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 upcoming month. Uh, it it sparks the the best of what we have. The Hanukkah holiday will run until this upcoming Sunday. Rabbi Harley says they'll finish off celebrating by lighting the remaining five candles of the menorah. In studio, Aaron Jenkins, 9 on your side.